Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me and Obudi here bringing forth you to your screen, your original vibes. Guys, it's been a minute that I've done makeup content here. So let me just start off by saying if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch me do my thing. If you want to see my face, hi, my name is Ryan Amobudi. I'm a YouTuber based in Abuja and I'm going back to my roots. I started with makeup and I have missed creating makeup content so we're gonna do something quite interesting today please do not forget to subscribe like and share this video because i know a lot of people like watching makeup videos but please share this one okay so um i kind of like wrote it down i have like my notes here so i don't make mistake i don't miss any part by the time i'm pretty sure you guys already know what this video is all about i am going to be doing makeup um uh, alphabetically yes i'm gonna start to it because i wrote I, like i literally wrote down a b c d to z and wrote down which one comes before the other so i kind of like don't make any mistake i'm gonna like to do wrong one chicken so apparently there's nothing that has to do with makeup that starts with a so the first one is blush slash brows because i'm gonna go with brows i mean my eyebrow has to be done i have my mirror over here which is quite small but i'm gonna make the best out of it so if i'm looking this direction i just know that i'm looking at my mirror because i'm to bring it close here it's most likely going to disrupt my view so yeah let's do my brows and just like that, my sound went off. Guys, you won't believe this is literally like the third time in a row I am doing a sit down video. And it's either the sound goes off or the sound is so bad that I can't work with. I made two content, I think that was sometime last month. And I could not upload either of them because the sound was so bad. And I was so pained because that was like a very beautiful makeup. And I could not work with it. Like I literally could not work with it. But this one. I had to upload this one because I can't let another makeup waste. <laughs> so, but the sound of this one came in much later. So this is just basically like the first part. Don't worry, please bear with me. And I'm sorry that I am moving my mouth there and it's not rhyming what I'm saying right now. So please bear with me. But basically, I'm just going to explain what I am doing in this video. I drew my brows. I usually like to use Davis Color 3 for my eyebrow because it's a bit darker. I don't like 18 because I feel like it's too light and it gives that yellowish or orange effect. Then I went in with my moisturizer from Blue Zone. Based on the fact that I'm doing alphabetically, after my brows, the next thing comes the blush. So I need to actually spread my face so the blush can sit. So after applying my moisturizer from Blue Zone, I went ahead to apply my primer from um that should be Kiss Beauty, if I'm not mistaken. No, Flawless. Flawless Ivy. And then I went to, to apply my blush. My blush palette, I got it from Plastic. I dumped my sponge because I wanted the blush to give a cream blush effect. So I went ahead and I applied my blush. Like, sometimes I underestimate how pigmented this palette is. Like, can you guys see how my cheek is looking right now? I was literally just laughing at myself throughout this part because I feel like I was being like a clown legit but anyways the sound came back somewhere around here so enjoy my concealer i'm going to be using this from sarah and i've had this for the longest of time i really really love the coverage this concealer gives like so much but i kind of like have to let it sit for a bit that's like going to have like full full effect so i'm just going to apply this here here right now this is a trust the process thing to so trust the process i'm not even sure why i decided to do this as i decided that that's this one on my bucket list but we're gonna trust the process right now and another thing is the concealer goes with contour which is a very good thing because i like the fact that they go hand in hand so we're gonna contour as well and I'm going to be using this classic makeup foundation in what number is this? CF04. The contour here, it's a bit dark. This is a bit on a darker, darker side. But I don't even mind because I love. 
I just love the look it gives me. I really love, love this concealer because it gives a very, very nice coverage. Trust the process, guys. Trust the process. This is when you guys have to believe in me. Like, believe in Miriam. Okay? Trust the process. One thing away. I look like a clown. <laughs> Literally. What? I saw when I had this alphabetic thing in my head, it sounded a whole lot more interesting. And I had a friend that had suggested this thing to me like years ago at this point. Like years ago. And I was always like, mm, I was gonna, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I don't even know how I ended up not doing it at the time. But I'm gonna end up doing it now. Because it's just interesting. Like I'm I'm trying to trust the process. That's what I'm telling you guys to trust the process. Me that's doing it, I'm trying to trust the process. I'm trying to believe in myself. Like, time to blend. Aha, better. This doesn't look bad. Right, guys? <laughs> but in all honesty, though, it doesn't look bad. Actually, like, for me, for you, you can't think about it. Like, if trust the process was a human being, I'm pretty sure this is what she would look like. Yeah. Trust, try to believe me. Okay? Try to believe. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my setting powder right now. Is it part of it? Do I do it now or do it later? Right? Eh? It goes with the package of makeup. So I have my eyeshadow primer here, so I'm just going to apply a little this on my eyelid just to like help, you know, give my eyeshadow work something to work with. So my eyeshadow, I'll be using this for Flawless Ivy, the OG Snow, this is like my Holy Grail, I'll be using this for like, as long as I can remember. So what are we doing today? So let's start with a base, which is brown one gonna dust it up a little bit and just go over that I like to keep my base like quite simple and this is kind of like how you work your eyeshadow in this is how you work it in like this not Not like that. No, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. No, work it in. Okay. So, something like this just makes it look. I'm gonna go with black, just like for the outer, outer area. Outer area and just like work it in a little bit. That makes sense. Little bit. Yep. Work it in a little bit. Okay. See, key to anything makeup. Let me just give you guys a little bit of tip. It's blending. Your blending skill has to be good. Like I will not even lie to you. Your blending skill has to be good. When I say good, I mean like top notch, top notch. Do a little bit of color. I have this shimmer palette. So let's say, let's say this blue. Hmm? This blue is really cute. So yes. This blue is cute. It's a little bit of a little bit I really love that. Wow. This is actually like a highlight palette. But I love. Mm. 
eyeshadow done next eyeliner my eyeliner i'm gonna use this you know what this is they on an og cute as the world right now i know that's what you're looking for so put it in the comment section cute. <laughs> Who is this girl? So the next on the list is foundation. Finally, I'm gonna be using this classic foundation just a little bit because at this point I feel like I already have like plenty to do my face. But this down part, if you notice, I really didn't apply anything while I was applying everything. So I'm just gonna do this for this down area. Oh God, oh, 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 this concealer has a very crazy coverage i literally just dumped a little like i did a very mad coverage i literally just took a little and see how it's already building up oh see that that's part of the show baby next on the list is highlights hmm. okay well, this is my highlight palette so i'm just gonna use this this is actually my powder brush oh i'm just gonna use it because it's the like closest to me right now so i like this brush this pink one so but just a little because after I'm done with this whole alphabetical thing, I'm still kind of like going to do one or two touches. So, yep, I like applied. Then next will be lipstick. Hmm, so my lipstick, I'm gonna do something very simple, just this. This is like actually like my go-to lip like a brown person and lip because my friend's mom gave me this and i really love it because kind of like goes to it looks clear though but by the time i apply it it gives this pinkish effect that i'm so so in love with are you seeing it? it's going really turning pink <laughs> that's why i just like it it looks clear and everything but once you apply it it just turns to pink i love it okay well, next thing is powder powder so for my powder i'm gonna be using t beauty at this point i swear by this palette i usually do not swear by any palette but this one i swear by it because as you can see the one that matches my shape is almost gone like Outside the last palette that I used, this has to be like the next best thing for me, honestly. It is so good. The coverage is crazy. Like, crazy. You see that? You see that? This is literally all I use to go to work. I just put that concealer, that Zaran concealer, and then I apply this. And that's basically it. Like, I don't even apply foundation to work. Like, at all. This is it. This and our concealer. That's basically all I have. Right? And I use this. Don't cut any of this. This is basically it. The last on the list is setting spray. Yay! We made it to the end. But before I do that, I'm just going to define my face a bit better. And all of that, so let me quickly just do that before I have my setting. I'm beginning to love wash a lot these days. So. Before I apply my setting spray, I'm gonna be right back. Let me fix my lashes. I feel like I need to put it so I give it a little edge. So let me fix my lashes and I'm gonna come back and apply my setting spray. I need that to tell me what to think about this. Okay, see.
Yeah. Guys, I'm done with my lashes and this is what it looks like with what as per usual. So I'm gonna do the last thing on the list now, which is S, and that's gonna be me apply my setting spray. So let's do that. Ooh, we gotta let it sit, guys. Let it sit. I think I like the eyeshadow. I like my brows, of course, every time. Added a little bit of um, concealer here. And then the blush, the contour, everything pretty much came out like okay, okay, okay. I, I don't know what you guys think. What do you guys think? I've always wanted to do this alphabetically thing, and I'm glad I can actually kick it off my pocket list at this point and use the opportunity to do a full blown makeup because I kind of like haven't done this in a while. So I would like to know what you guys think, how you guys do win. Do you guys think this is something you would try? I think I'll probably just stick to my normal routine, of course, but I mean, just for the fun of doing the makeup i guess so i decided to do this but i just really want to know what you guys think i know i mean the end product came out okay but were you guys scared at the beginning because i kind of like was scared <laughs> i was just using trust the process to hold myself i was scared because i was like eh, what am i getting myself into but i mean trust the process so i'm glad this came out really good looking at myself in the mirror now i'm like okay okay i can actually see myself going out to this probably not doing it because i mean who really have time to be arranging makeup alphabetically but i'm glad with how it turned out it's not so bad and if you watch up to this point please do not forget to subscribe like and share and i will most most definitely see you guys in my next video to them be good be kind and beautiful Mwah. i love you guys so much bye